getting kind of stuffy in here. Cafe racer still here. On an interceptor. Very cool. Um, Honda Ascot. And of course my XT and my Madura. There's a good four other bikes or so out in the boneyard that are waiting attention. As well as a good maybe six or seven that are fixing to get tore apart. Ooh, and I got a supplemental um, workspace which is cool because it comes with this light and it's wired for music. So that's right cool. Um, I haven't been making too many videos just because I've been doing a bunch of boring stuff. You know, just doing the same old fix them up, put back together, and sell kind of business. I'm um, fixing to do uh, fork seals on this bike eventually, probably sometime this month, so that'll be a good how to video going up. Um, but today was just sort of maintenance day for me, um, putting, putting my tools in order and oiling them all up and, um, you know clean them up and stuff and putting everything back together so I thought I'd do a quick little video on my favorite tools and uh, what I use them for these two are the favorite tools that I have a pair of cutting pliers and needle nose pliers uh, they were bequeathed to me for my grandfather's toolkit they're the only tools left over um, and he was an engineer and he helped build uh, the atomic bombs that won World War II. Not something I'm terribly proud of as a pacifist, but um, I think it's really cool. I mean, I do brag about it, you know, just from the engineering standpoint and having some things which uh, very potentially, you know, worked on a great piece of American history. I mean, who knows, maybe these cut some wires that were in the bombs, you know, so. Use some really neat old tools. I use them every single day. One well, must be 70 years old. It still cuts just as good as the day it was made. And look at this. And this one is absolutely no slop in this at all. They've never been serviced, as far as I know. Just excellent, good old American tools. These longer ones are cheap Chinese ones, but they're still useful for. Um, you know, putting carbs back on and stuff and tightening stuff down when you want to reach into places where your hands don't fit. I got me a uh, tire pry bar, which I use a lot when my muscles aren't good enough. This is my motorcycle wheel bearing puller, as featured in my bearing video. I hardly ever use it, but I like it a lot just because it's so simple. Um, it really came in handy when. Uh, I had that flat tire coming out here on my cross country trip and um, for some reason I lost my jack handle so I busted this thing out using use this as a jack handle. That was the last time I used it really. It's still a great tool. My dad won this in a raffle back in the 50s so the story goes. He put, um, he put his ticket in the hat on the back of the ticket he wrote pick this ticket and whoever was in charge of picking the ticket saw it and picked it out to see what was written on it and that's how he won a million years old use this thing all the time great rotary tool by Black & Decker Dremel makes equally good ones and as a bonus, I use the empty canisters for all kinds of stuff. I got some good tools in my old toolbox here. Finally got a hold of my bugler. This striper. 
Don't brush away. Pull out the plunger a bit. And fill it with uh, paint in here. And put the rolly cap on. And just roll down wherever you want to stripe. Uh, I've only been playing with it now. I haven't done it on a motorcycle yet. Um, but when I uh, do stripe my next motorcycle, I'll be sure to show you guys how I do it. Digital calipers. This is mostly cheap stuff in here, but um, it's all very useful. Got this for free at Harbor Freight. Probably ever use this actually, but I mean, it's whatever. Nice to have. Nice uh, digital thermometer. Has all kinds of uses. This is a spark tester. A couple of wires with alligator clips. Some motorcycles are just filled with Allen head bolts. All kinds, although they're not even close to being organized. Bunch of electrical connectors in here. Toggle switches for when I get lazy. More alligator clips. Pressure switches. Fusible links. Stuff like that. This is the specialty tool drawer where I keep all kinds of oddball stuff. Um, these are welder's tips for um, cleaning carburetor jets. Flywheel puller. Uh, Y'all might recognize this. This is my camera mount for the XT. Um, this is a scorer. It's got this little rolly blade here for scoring paper. Um, I use this if I want to paint a pattern on a tank or whatever. I'll um, score a piece of paper. Or I might get like you know a, a design or whatever. Then I'll go around it and trace the outline of it, and um, so it's all perforated. And then I'll use some chalk dust and um, just sort of fluff it on. Put you know put the scored paper on the tank, fluff it on, and then we have chalk dust. On the uh, on the tank in the way that I want it. Then I'll use some tape or whatever um, and tape it all out, and that way you can do like flame designs or whatever. Honestly, I'm not very good at it, but I want to get better at it. Um, feeler gauges. Got another puller. Spark plug. Gappers. Easy outs, which don't work for shit. Some more pickers. These are my um, adapters for my compression tester. This is a little tool for taking out the uh, the um, little valve in uh, valve stems, which. Um, I've had for many, many years back when I was a bad boy and I thought I was a bad boy. I'd go and rather than slash tires, I'd, I'd just take the valve stem out and I thought I was pretty cool. Just, you know, air filling tools, stuff like that. This brake bleeder uh, makes bleeding brakes far, far easier. I have a video up on that as well. I love this come along for throwing bikes around. Finally, after I got me some GIS um, Phillips head screwdrivers, I've just never looked back. It uh, makes a big difference in taking off stuck screws in, um, in these old bikes. So, I dig them as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more interesting stuff.